Alright guys and welcome back to Armored Warfare and today you know we're going to take out a vehicle that um, I don't usually play too often. It's a bit of a knockoff of the type T-72A. It's the Type 85 2M Tier 6 Zheng MBT at the moment. The only one in there. And it is, it's a bit like the T-72A except just not as good. I don't, I think it's inferior. It doesn't have as good damage, doesn't have as good penetration. Uh, the aim time and accuracy are about the same. The armor on this vehicle, I would say, is not as good. Actually, the front turret, I would say, is actually probably better. Because it hasn't got those flat... Uh, where the front of the cylindrical turret... Or what do they call it? Hemispherical turret? Comes to the front. There's actually some flat points on the front of the T-72A's turret. But this doesn't get that. So the front turret is probably stronger. The cupolas on this are bigger. The hull is not as well armored. Both the front upper plates are very strong on both vehicles, but the Type 85 2M has a weaker lower plate, and it is a pretty big compared to the T-72As. They're about the same speed as well. They're both pretty quick vehicles. So, all in all, I'd say this vehicle is a bit of an inferior T-72A, a bit of a, you know, a Chinese knockoff. Trying to be like it, but it's not going to be. But, one point of this video that I wanted to reiterate or that I'm going to iterate and reiterate a lot of times during this video is minimap use. Now, look at the minimap. Look where I'm going, okay? I noticed this while I was doing it, and I partially did it on purpose because I was thinking to myself, I could probably try and prove a point by doing this, and I'm going to prove a point in this game, and it's going to turn out quite well. So, you can see this. I'm completely on my own here. Completely on my own in the center. Now, if I was paying attention to the minimap at all, I would notice this, which I have done, and I would say, right, I'm completely alone here. I've got no backup. I need to go back and get friendlies. I need to get some help. But right now, I'm pretending that I haven't read the minimap and I don't know what's going on. So I get to see a T-72 Ural and I'm like, right, okay, let's go and engage him because I haven't realized I've got no support, don't forget. I'm pretending I've got no support. So... No, no friendlies around us, and we know there's an enemy in front of us. We are completely alone on this side of the map, and there's probably going to be more enemies heading this way. So we're going to try and see if we can take that T-72 Euro on. Oh, scrap that. MBT-70. Okay, Tier 6 American main battle tank. Massive 152mm armor-piercing cannon. Heat rounds do a metric arse ton of damage. So... Okay, so we know there's two enemies here now, and we've only got a VBL who's pushed round. Still, I'm not paying attention to the minimap, am I? So we're going to try and sit back and fight them. We're going to stand our ground and fight these guys. Now, look at that. The the, the dust. Ugh, the dust kills my FPS. Ah, silly dust. Oh, MBT-75 bounces off my track, and then I realise, oh crap, these walls can be broken. So I've lost my cover now. I was hoping I could use those walls as cover. MBT-70 weak spot though, if you're facing the front of an MBT-70, the lower plate is strong, but if he's only showing the turret, onto the top left hand side of the turret there's a tiny little gunner sight, and that can be penetrated. Now that there, only 158 damage, is not what I'm talking about. Next shot, you'll see what I mean. So MBT-70, and we've got a T-72 Euro, the VBL is pulling back. He's pulled back from the enemy side and pushed back to our side of the hill. That's all right. Now, using these cars and those oil tankers to basically say, MBT-70, you're coming towards me through this bit. There we go. Fire through his upper uh, little telescopic sight thing for nearly 500 damage. Okay, so there's an expeditionary tank coming. So I'm going to start pulling back now. MBT-70 bounces off the top of the turret. We're going to pull back. Now, in hindsight, I should have loaded heat here. I should have loaded heat. That would have been a big thing. But the expeditionary tank pushes round, and I'm like, right, I'm going to have to take this guy on. Now, this is the sort of situation not reading your minimap's going to get you into. MBT-70 at the front, expeditionary tank to the side, RDFLT to the rear. Now, how on earth could I possibly survive this? But just watch. So, expeditionary tank, RDFLT. I tried to get the RDF, but he just pulls back in time. Three rounds strike me. I'm now on less than half HP. Load the heat rounds. RDF must die. Take him out. That's one less gun firing at me, and it's dangerous. BMD comes to my rescue. The BMD just saves my ass there and knocks out the enemy expeditionary tank, and he has pulled back. Heat round. I thought I could penetrate the lower plate of the MBT-70. I could, but he just angles in time, and it goes into his track. And then, voila, my round goes completely flying. Now, I don't know what this MBT-70 is doing here. I'm side-scraping against this rubble because it's the only thing I can do. 
putting two rounds into his lower plate there. Now he's a one-shot kill. And I don't know what he's doing. He puts a round into my cupola. That was a pointless maneuver there. That was an absolute waste of a gun. If he had have just pulled back to that corner, and then, you know, he wouldn't have sat in the open and taken three rounds and died. I don't know what he would have done if he pulled back to the corner. He probably could have tried to have side-scraped or moved on and not fought me. Maybe the BMD or the Centura would have been better. But he wasted his time. It's fine for me. Free damage. Come around the corner with a heat round loaded. Obliterate the BMD too. There was no way he was going to get out of that. VFM. VFM has troll armor. Of course, so my round bounces off at a 76 degree angle. Utterly pointless shot there. Firing at him. I, I hope I would have penned. But right now, after that one versus three duel there, my hands are shaking. I can feel my hands. I'm like, whoa. That was pretty close. I didn't want to die there. So that proved my point of reading the minimap, knowing where your friendlies are and where to and not to go. Although I'm a tier 6 main battle tank and I'm one of the biggest tanks on our team, there, if I hadn't have had that BMD-2 help me, I probably would have died right there. And that is pretty lucky that BMD-2 was in a position to help me. He had been reading his minimap and he had seen a friendly main battle tank was in trouble. Knock out the VFM there. We get our little revenge on him. And... M60A3 Coppola, put one in there, and there's our ace tanker, five kills. But as I was saying, that BMD2 read his minimap, and he saw that I was in trouble. He saves me, and that's all good. If he hadn't been reading his minimap either, I probably would have died there. That MBT70 would have been able to put another round into me, and the expeditionary would have gunned me down. Good thing some people read their mini-maps then, because no one else on the team came to, came to rescue me or did help me. I did see some of them were relocating to try and get into position to help, but they had read it too late, whereas the BMD was on point, and he had done it. Ha! Ah, good times. I always like to reiterate the mini-map use, because it's always very, very helpful. It is the most useful tool. If, you want, if you're wanting to get any skill in armored warfare doesn't matter if it's you want to do your long range sniping or you want to side scrape and uh, armor angling shell types the biggest skill anyone should learn is how to read the minimap properly seeing where you need to be where your help needs to be if anyone else needs help exactly flanks that are open things like that that's what really leads your team to victory it's not if you can side scrape well or if you can angle your arm it's just you need to read your minimap so I can see from reading my minimap, the BMP3 is over there and he's being fought. The ERC is over on the other side to our right there in front of us. And he's probably going for the artillery. And there he is. Now, look at this. My hands are still shaking and I'm struggling to aim my gun here. I'm like, oh. So he reverses and I preemptive so badly there. That was completely my fault, that shot. That was terribly aimed there. I shouldn't have been able to have done something like that. Then I lose connection slightly. ERC comes flying out in front. I'm like, yes. And then I get milliseconds of shot delay there and my round goes low and it misses and I'm like, oh, now that is annoying ERC goes flying off behind the building aim up, no need, he gets knocked out, so if I hadn't been reading my mini map, I would have gone enemy base, do 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 and drove into the enemy base and I would have started capping, which, you know anything could have happened, that ERC there could have started to knock us out, although it's highly unlikely, it's not out of the realms that he could have started to carry so my gun being there is just what what needed to happen. I didn't really need to cap. We had friendlies in the cap circles anyway. So, Type 85 2M. I think that's what it is. Yeah, Type 85 2M. I think it's quite good, actually. As much as it is just a bit of a knockoff the T-72A, in my opinion, it's probably the second best Tier 6 main battle tank. Not bad at all. Look at that. 3,500 damage, 5 kills, 6 spots, 10,000 reputation, just over 100,000 credits. We came top on the kills, far bottom on the assists, second on damage, and we did come second on reputation, so we did not do too badly. Only a VFM beat us, but the VFM, as everyone knows, is ridiculously overpowered. Type 85 2M, not so much. I, did, I do enjoy this tank, and I do recommend, if you wanted a new main battle tank line to go down, the Zheng tanks are quite good. Those Chinese main battle tanks can be quite effective vehicles when you learn how to play them, with their weakness of the big lower plate. So guys, thank you for watching this gameplay, and as always, I'll see you in the next one.